Okay. So, as of May 29th of 2020, as you can see here, um, I have decided to start a stationary business. I don't know, just woke up one day and said, I'm going to start a stationary business. Just wanted to document as I go because I know that this is going to be a hard journey and might as well start documenting right so anyway, I really don't have any experience in business by the way so this is what I have so far and hopefully we will experience some goodness along the way so I had decided to start with uh, business plan. I have our about section, mission statement, my vision and my beliefs, um, at least for the beliefs of the company. I also added some vocabulary and definitions, some branding and some logo info. I also added like what products that I plan to make um, and some inserts and what does that look like and what does a collection mean, things like that also added some color palettes um, really got this from Pinterest <laughs> and then I split it um, really what colors that appeal to women and uh, colors that appeal to men and then I am currently trying to figure out my startup strategy I think what's also important to note is that I did start an Instagram for this business. As you can see, the company's name is DLM Paper and Co. Um, we'll see. Um, as you can see, zero followers. And I think what is going to make it a little bit more harder for me too is that my actual Instagram, if I can get to it, um, does not have any followers either I mean I only have 828 followers so this will be a very interesting journey to say the least all right guys so just wanted to give a quick update of how my shop's doing so for this month so far we had 973 total views we have actual 464 actual visits and for this month um, in August we've had six orders and we made $61.75 in revenue um, to tell you the truth I'm still learning about really the outcomes of this because I do do Etsy ads and so I do do like a dollar a day in which Really, for the last 30 days, I guess we can kind of see what's going on here. Um, so yeah, for this month, because I restarted it for August. So 75 ad cl clicks, but really no one bought from the ad. So again, just a quick update of how my shop's doing. Um, and uh, so far we have, let's see. <clears throat> We have how many listings? 37 active. The best sellers so far really are the planner cards. I've had a few purchases here and there, but nothing significant. But this is what the shop currently looks like. So, yeah. how I'm currently packaging the planner cards so these are the stickers I made myself just threw them in the back and just covered it with some craft paper
current um, envelopes, so for these bubble wraps from Amazon, I got in black. I got this in two different sizes, but since all of the orders have really been just the planner cards, they definitely, of course, fit in any freebies that I want to give out. Here's in these little box here, and I printed different ones. Um, so maybe you need to make some of these a little bit more, but definitely just for packaging. I use. Um, all right guys i just wanted to give an update today is september 11th um 2020 and i wanted to give a quick update on my etsy shop and how it's been doing for this month um you know i think i when i released some of these planner cards which is what i'm going to show you in a little bit it has significantly brought significantly brought a lot of views and um, visits into my shop in a little bit of time and so um, I have so far this month I would say this was two to three days worth of income I made $94 which is not bad but I have noticed a pattern that my buyers tend to buy on the weekends as opposed to during the week and so I'm not sure if anyone else is experiencing that in their Etsy shop, but I get majority of my orders um, through the weekend. So, so far into this month, I've had nine orders, which is awesome. I think it's making a lot of progress, which is great. Um, so as far as my listings and like what's the best, like, let's see. Okay, so these color planner cards is pretty much what's making this happen and these motivational planner dashboards like had significant um, orders this was the original set of the planner cards and they look like this i changed the packing packaging but um i decided to make it colored um into more a blush and a nude tones as a and i made some of the blank colored planner cards which sold pretty well so what I decided to do is actually make them in the fall version color so this is what I am currently going to release tomorrow for those that are wondering how I make these cards um, so what I do is um, I well I design them I currently use Microsoft Word at this time um, hope to do some changes in the future but I print this out with my printer which is down here and I laminate them I think this is a 5 ml and then the same for the colored ones. The laminator that I use is the Amazon Basics. I had one that was really old and I used for work but it just broke so decided to get this one and it's working out very very well so what I do is I just input this in um, inside and then it comes out looking really nice and clear so I'll show you that in a minute. sometimes what ends up sorry it's not like focusing but that's the hard part with using acetate and you get like spots like that which like I can't control so sometimes just kind of have to repeat the process but this is really just going to be used for my pictures and such so maybe I can just use it for um, or Photoshop or edit the picture so yeah so this one came out perfect so again these are what the planner cards look like so what I do is I cut um, all throughout the corners and um, try to make sure that the black part is not present and so so yeah and then I just round the corners and then that's how you get my planner cards <laughs>
So I do want to show you guys, sorry the lighting is not as great, but um, but yeah, originally this was my actual design and so I really liked, you know, for the fall colors, I really loved this color. As you can see, it's very, very different than the one that I ended up switching to. Um, but whenever I printed this color, it created a smudge at the top. And so, you know, unfortunately, I had to make a really hard decision as to, you know, sticking with a lighter orange color just because it wasn't, um, if we weren't able to replicate the color, then I didn't want that to be. A consistent thing where I'm incurring a lot more losses creating a certain product that I can't recreate so this color was very consistent um, of course you know I think printing on acetate in general um, with darker colors tends to be a little bit more of a hassle and the only color that seems to be really consistent and goes along with my Etsy shop is the brown and so definitely wanted to keep that but this is as much as I love 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 this color I just cannot sell it so I decided to go with this um, with this set however this color I was able to recreate for the blank cards and so I'm so happy that I got the color in somehow it's just it's been it's just very tough when you're dealing with very vivid colors and printing on acetate so that's how I make my planner cards I also wanted to show you guys how I do my designs so what I actually use is procreate for this design what I did was I, I usually draw on procreate create a design um, I tend to go more with um, like color blocks with not a lot of um, lining or cartoonish. I try to be as realistic as possible with my drawings, except if I'm do doing characters or whatnot. But in order to create this, um, I printed it on acetate. And again, I did the same concept where I laminated it and then created a dashboard with it. And so, yeah, in order for me to do this in different sizes, I use Procreate. And then in, to, in order to insert my logo to Photoshop, just add my logo to the bottom and make some final edits. And then once I'm really done with it, I go to Canva. I do is upload it to Canva and make different sizes just because it's just so much more easier where you can just make a copy and do your own measurements to just accommodate the sizes that you're trying to sell, whether that's personal size or A5 or half letter, whatnot. So what's really nice is I just printed it and this is what they look like. This is the A5, I haven't punched it yet. You can see it's see-through, um, really nice concept. Sorry again, the lighting is not good, but I'm working pretty late tonight. Hey guys, so it's a new day, it's Saturday, and just really wanted to um, finish up a few designs before I leave for vacation. So this is one that we had finalized today, it says fall, and um, as you can see, there's like little white pumpkins. Not your typical colors for the fall, but um, it definitely fits the... I guess the vibes of DLM Paper & Co. So um, wanted to separate this so that really what we're gonna do is gonna print this in vellum. No, no, sorry. Yeah, print this in vellum and then this on cardstock. So I am, I actually printed it out, so which I'm gonna show you guys. So I printed it, but I'm gonna try to put some foiling on it and see how that looks. But pretty much this is an A5 size. And then as you can see, if you flip it, is the picture. So it's supposed to go into your planner. But anyway, I'm gonna try to put foiling on it and see how it goes. Um, I haven't really had any success with foiling recently. That's why I don't sell it on my shop until I figure out how 
to perfect the process before I start selling them. So anyway, I'm gonna foil this into my laminator machine and then see how that goes. Let's see if we like it. Not bad, but as you can see from the light, there's little speckles. This is pretty much how it goes every time I foil. So again, just need to perfect the process and maybe I just need to get better foil, but it's actually not bad. So you should see the creations that we did um, last night. I posted them as a listing this morning and took some photos of the fall edition blank cards. And yeah, and I posted them on Instagram and they're getting a few likes right now, but probably will end up promoting them. Otherwise, no orders as of today, but hopefully more to come before I go on vacation. As you guys can see, it's a new day. It's very nice and sunny outside. To close out this vlog by just giving one last update for the weekend. As you guys can see, um, I had two additional orders for this weekend. Um, so now the current revenue is 109 Yeah, I also wanted to give an update of the Instagram since as you guys can see from the earlier videos that we had zero followers. Yep, so right now, as of September, this is the amount of followers we have. We are officially over 200. So as you can see, I've been posting really regularly compared to that one photo that I had. This is the most recent one that I posted was the fall dashboard that we had made. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this lovely um, studio vlog, studio vlog, and until next time, bye.